gentlemen, what's going on? All right, so basically today what I wanted to do is go through and show you guys and gals a quick tip or trick for the Blender game engine. And with this, really what I'm going to show you all is, is a way of essentially creating like laser bolt lights. Uh, or emissions, or the, the, the way to get the light uh, bouncing off of objects and stuff like that. So I have a game here, uh, just as an example to what we'll be using in a moment, but I wanted to kind of show you some of the setup here. So if we look at this, for instance, cruise that I've highlighted and selected here, uh, it's kind of blue colored here, you can see that this little dark area. Well, formerly I was having difficulties finding a way to actually get that to light up, for instance, when a laser bolt passes by. Because theoretically, you know, it's a laser bolt, it's emitting light and all that, and you would expect it to be emitting light, okay? But, um, and, and I couldn't get it, I couldn't get it no matter what I tried, and it was just one of these things that the idea came to me as kind of a little hacky, but it's a trick that does work. So I'll show you guys and gals that trick here. So just uh, again as a case in point of what, what I mean, if I go ahead and pull up this uh, example here, I've got a laser bolt and I move it across the cube and we see no light bouncing on the cube or from it or all of that. And, uh, at all okay so there's no light moving or affecting on the cube even though if I look at this laser bolts materials information we are seeing that it does have the emit value set to its highest uh, ability which in this instance is two I can move it down but I can uh, it's max is two or at least it needs no more than two apparently um, and yet though it's not emitting or it doesn't seem to be emitting light on the cube okay so the trick to doing that, and I'm going to go ahead and hide this and unhide the others. The trick to doing this, and if I move the cube over, is using spotlights. Yes, I know, right? So, so case in point, uh, if I go ahead and shift B to kind of zoom in on the, the, the bolt here. I have the, the, these lights. I have one, two, three, I've got four. So I've got down, left, right, up. And technically I need two more for back and front, but uh, currently I only have four. Uh, but as you'll see though, I move the cube around and it's gonna affect the cube. So when I move the cube back and forth, that laser bolt is seemingly affecting the cube. Now, what you'll want to do is once you've so so when you have the spotlight, what you'll do is you'll generate the spotlight. Uh, you'll go through and change the spot, and then currently for my bolt, I have 0.5 for energy. I have distance of 5. Point, um, uh, 5. 5. 5.0, and then a size of 180. Okay. Now you'll maybe probably be thinking, hey, there's an area light. Why not use area? Well, because area doesn't seem to actually, the area light doesn't seem to actually work within Blender game engine. Uh, it's only Hemi, Spot, and Sun, uh, and Point. But, um, and you may ask, why am I not using Hemi? Because Hemi actually doesn't give an appropriate kind of light level, uh, unlike Spot, which when you set it correctly to those values that I showed you, um, does actually set it. So once you've created the spotlights, and by the way, you want to keep them all in the same sp uh, spot. Like, like on top of one another. And the reason being that you're gonna do is you're gonna B for box select, and then you're gonna select all of those lights, okay? And then once you've selected those lights, you'll use shift and click on the, um, the laser bolt, and then control P, control P to select and parent it to the object. So you'll select object, no, not object to keep transform or vertex or vertex triangle, only object. You'll click on object and that'll parent those lights to the laser the laser bolt in this instance, okay? Uh, now technically, obviously you don't have to have a laser bolt. You could, um, you know, you could, you, you could be maybe just working with a light, uh, not light. Um, you could be working with a, um, what am I thinking? A, uh, a spotlight that needs to move or something like that. You get my point. You may need to just only have one. So, and then I'm going to go ahead and put it inside the bolt to approximately inside the bolt so that it's uh, seemingly coming from the bolt, like so. Okay. And uh, yeah, and there you go. So, put it inside the bolt or your object that you're going to be emitting from. And like I said, and like you see, the cube is, 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 is being affected. So, if we go ahead and go over to the uh, game site again. I can go ahead and click on the standalone player, and what that'll do is um, obviously you know bring up the standalone player here, and I'll show you guys just an example of how that affects the lighting. So go ahead, and it's a little bit laggy. I've got some um, stuff going, and in fact I'm gonna have. 
to cancel that. Don't, don't. Can't do that. I have to not, I don't want the audio police to come along and be like, oh yeah, why did you use our audio? Okay, so I got that muted, and then I'm going to go ahead now and play it, and uh, we'll show you an example of how that light affects then all the objects. And I, obviously I shouldn't necessarily need to show you an example, but we're just going to do it because it's really cool, and it's been something that's been bugging me for so long. You guys won't believe. Oh my goodness, everyone, it's just, it's, it's crazy. Like, oh my goodness. It just makes me super sad. So, I go ahead and I'm going to fly out a little bit here and um, kind of being dragged. But if I go ahead and fire at the ship, for instance, you'll see that the light passes over around the ship. Uh, if you look at the, um, you know, the, uh, uh, the, you know, the ship. Look at the ship. And now obviously I could target asteroids too. And, um, and that's affecting it. You can see that's affecting that asteroid and... Yeah, it really looks good, and 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 this this basically makes the game a little more realistic because obviously, if you have something emitting light, it should be theoretically emitting light. And it's a little frustrating that I can't use the area light, but you guys get my point. At least you can um, do it with spotlights and with the appropriate settings as shown. Now, obviously, you don't need to have that color setting. The re red, you can use whatever color you you want, uh, but you guys get my you guys get my point. It's 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 um. Yeah, it's, it's great, yes. Super fantastic. Um, just trying to see, yep. So that's how you can get essentially laser bolts to look like they're emitting light, even though they are not apparently emitting light, at least not with the standard um, setup. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Please rate, subscribe, tell me what you think, and I'll talk to you guys and gals later.